The vaccination campaign launched in St. Lucia on the 17th of February 2021 was rolled out in a phased approach. Phase 1A and 1B commenced with the highest risk individuals being vaccinated first, including frontline workers and individuals with chronic non-communicable diseases, as well as the elderly. Immunization manager Tekla Jabati says it is important to protect the most vulnerable in the society. And in phase 1B, the focus at that time um, were persons in the elderly population, persons living with comorbid conditions. And I just want to bring back the point that Dr. Belma made just earlier in her presentation. We note the, the comorbid conditions that most of the, our deaths, you know, that would have the, the comorbid conditions that were present. So we had persons living with high blood pressure, diabetes, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart disease. And it is very important for us that persons living with comorbid conditions, that they are protected because we know that they are at very high risk of developing the very severe form of the disease. And of course, we know that could lead to death. The Ministry of Health and Wellness indicated that the response and turnout has been encouraging, with a total of 14,708 individuals getting vaccinated to date. The immunization manager explained that the ministry will soon be moving into phase two of the campaign and urge everyone to pre-register. We are at a point where there's a need for us to, to reach out, to move a little further and to reach out to pers other persons who are at medium risk. And as such, we are going to be moving on to phase two, where we will be reaching out to other persons who, who on a daily basis, by nature of their job, have very high interaction and are also at risk. And I speak of our hotel workers, I speak about the commercial sector, also persons from working in the hotel industry. And um, we will be reaching out to them. So we are encouraging those persons, of course, um, to visit the various um, community wellness, um, community vaccination sites. Um, once they are announced, they can access the vaccine at, at the sites that are nearest to them. That was immunization manager Tekla Shabatiste.